Off the coast of Catalonia, there is a collection of islands at the crossroads of the Mediterranean. Over 4,000 years ago, Bronze Age tribes made the voyage from the mainland to populate these rocky, windswept islands. The long natural harbors of Menorca welcomed ancient mariners from the time of the Phoenicians to the Romans, making contact with local communities. Stones tell much of the story of this place, of ritual offerings to the gods of sea and harvest. On the western side of Menorca is the town of Ciutadella, the location of the ancient Roman city of Iamo and the capital of the Muslim Medina Manurkia that lasted for 300 years. Found on maps going back millennia, Ciutadella is an enticing natural port. However, Menorca has a rare and mysterious phenomenon known as the Risaga, or Meteo Tsunami, that every 20 to 30 years causes drastic tidal shifts, quickly grounding and sinking boats within hours. With no warning, these small coves could rapidly fill up with shipwrecks, some of which were salvaged and others which were lost forever. There are eight tomes chronicling the ships wrecked from the 1500s onwards, and there is one account that especially stands out. The will of a captain and manifest of a ship, La Purissima Concepcion de Nuestra Señora, is recorded in the island's archives as sinking in the cove of Cala and Busquets in 1702. But this is not the only wreck in Busquets. Archaeologist Chavi Aguelo has identified a handful in this small area, dating from the Roman to medieval times. While evidence of these ships has been found, one has never been fully excavated. Referred to as an underwater museum by archaeologists, most of the wrecks in Calan Busquets are under two feet of sediment. In 2023, an international team of local archaeologists and Explorers Club members set out to uncover the 18th century wreck at the mouth of the harbor. These sunny Mediterranean islands can be deceiving, concealing sudden atmospheric violence. Known as the Isla de Viento, or the Windy Isle, Menorca can transform from a routine maritime stop-off into a deadly trap. Each morning, Chavi checks the conditions for the day ahead. Red in the morning, sailor's warning. With a shifting climate, the weather becomes unpredictable, and three storms in a row directly hit the western side of Menorca. The team grinds through days of near zero visibility, following the blue hoses into a dark void to push forward in their efforts. Eventually, the conditions force them to stop, and when calm weather returns, the power of the waves has erased all of their work. The sands of time reclaim the wreck, but the team persists, opening up a new area. In the documents, they described it as a merchant ship bound for Genova that had been partially salvaged by carpenters, but the team finds no saw marks. What they do find is musket shot. Could it have been from the later part of the century when Spain was transporting munitions across the Mediterranean to fight wars of independence in the New World? A mix of pottery from different periods gives us more questions than answers but each one is a clue. Certainly, the remains of the Purissima Concepcion are somewhere to be found in the cove. But with nearly 100 years of British occupation not chronicled by the Spanish crown, 
the true identity remains a mystery. The thousands of leagues this vessel sailed ultimately led it to an untimely end at the bottom of a windswept cove, where it gains new life as a thread in the tapestry of Menorca's history. They cover the wreck until their return in the coming year. This will protect it from the elements and looters, yet many questions still remain. A team of time travelers and adventurous misfits from around the world working together to uncover the unknown. To touch something no one has touched for hundreds or thousands of years, to feel connected to the continuity of humanity for a moment.